Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's Raina and welcome back to Raina's Logic. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my little vegetable garden beds. Honestly, with the world right now, with this whole coronavirus, huge worldly epidemic thing, the first thing that came to my mind was survival. Just in case, if you never know, like the stores really are so crazy, so empty, and I wanna be able to know how to grow my own food. So this is what kicked me into overdrive to be like, bitch, you can't just want to do a garden, you can't just want these things, because I've always, always wanted to make my own garden, but I had to finally just take the initiative and be like, bam, we doing it, we're gonna start growing our own vegetables. So if you guys are curious on how I did it, how I made my own vegetable garden, then please stick on around. Alright you guys, so I am currently at Home Depot and I'm going to be picking up some wood. I was originally going to be using those pallets to make a garden, but I guess you have to buy the pallets. People don't just throw them away. I seen them outside at CVS by the dumpster and I was like, yo, they're throwing them away. No, they were still using them. I was like, bruh, they're by the garbage, what? Like, that's confusing, that's confusing. So I'm gonna be picking up some wood. I'm not really sure what sizes I'm going for just yet. I'm gonna be looking and seeing how much it is and blah, blah, blah. I'm also gonna be picking up some soil and some seeds, so let's go. All right, so I want one that has a decent amount of like height to it, you know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be putting them long ways. So I don't want them too short. They are gonna be garden beds. So, oh, I'm looking around. I think these ones over here, what I am gonna want. See, like this one is a little bit taller than my hand. I think, I think this is the one I'm gonna want. But how much is it? Uh, hello price tag. Where are you? <gasps> no, these ones over here are like $3.77 and the ones I just now showed you guys was like 18 bucks. Fuck all that noise. We're gonna go with these ones. And these look kinda like how you'd make a fence with those ones. But look at it, still pretty tall. I think it's just not as thick and that's totally fine with me, baby. So I'm gonna grab uh, quite a few of those. How many am I gonna grab? I'm not even sure. So I decided on grabbing six pieces of wood and the awesome thing about Home Depot is they will cut your wood for you. So you don't need anything fancy, they'll do it for you. So right here is all the seeds and they have just so many. So it's kind of just like organic, herbs, vegetables, flowers. I'm not gonna do any flowers right now because I'm doing all edible things. So I'm gonna just get all kinds of veggies and fruit. And they also have more like all right here. And bam, all right here, baby. Ooh, let's get it. They have all kinds of different types of soils here, so definitely just read what it says, look at the prices, see what best fits for you. I think I'm gonna go with this bag right here because it specifically talks about vegetables and herbs, you know what I mean? And this bag is $8.47, and it's a miracle grow bag, so hmm, I think I'm gonna grab like Three or uh, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe I should keep looking, huh? Ooh. Wait. Okay. Hold on, Raina. Do the math. Do the math. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one actually. I think I'm gonna do like four bags of this bad boy or five. Oh, it is like four ten. So ooh, I'm, I'm gonna do quite a bit. Hold on. All right. So I grabbed five of them and I have another bag of this kind actually at home. So I think that should be fine. I mean, if I really do need to come back and get more, so be it. But for now, we're gonna go with five for technically six, because one's at home. E. Uh, why didn't it occur to me that these long ass boards have to fit in my little cart? Uh, <laughs> all right, Raina, let's uh, make this work. So I got the boards to fit in my car. They go all the way back there and all the way up here. But hey, it fits. A little dangerous, but. Bitch, we live on the danger side. So I wanted to show you guys the seed part of Home Depot, and I wanted to kind of act like I was getting them today, but I actually got the seeds like two days ago. So I got six of these wood pieces, and I got five of the piece bags of soil, and it ended up being 47.18. Woo! It's definitely an investment though. It feels a bit pricey right now, but I am investing in something that I am so excited for. I'm definitely going to be gardening from here on out, whatever I can, and I'm so excited to just be growing my own fruits and vegetables and homegrown stuff always tastes the best. Homegrown some medicine too. <laughs> Boo, Subway is like right there. We about to get some Subway real quick. Baby, you said that 
to do this because of it has been a long time waiting. I'm sorry you hear my daughter in the background. She is grumpy, she got her vaccines. So just kind of ignore her crying in the back, but look it. So I ended up getting cabbage, watermelon, smaller green onions, cauliflower, carrots, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes. And this is like um, it's like a gourmet green mix, you know what I mean? Instead of like just lettuce, because I feel like lettuce has minimal vitamins in it, and that has more. And then some squash, sweet peppers, and broccoli. And snow bird peas. So the first step we're gonna do with those seeds is I'm actually going to be germinate, germinating, germinating, is that how you say it? That word, and basically what that means is I'm gonna be starting the seeds off before I plant them into the dirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking these ultra soft, great value tissues. I know right now the world is kind of like getting low on tissues and stuff like that. So if you wanna use a rag instead of a tissue, go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna take that tissue and what I'm gonna do is actually soak it in some water. I'm gonna just pour a little bit of the water on here. Doop, boop, boop. Kinda just soak it up in itself. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm gonna fold that in half. You could have just kept it folded in half, but that's okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take some cauliflower seeds and open it up. And I'm not using all the seeds, I'm only gonna just be using some of them. There we go. There we go. That's a good amount of seeds, don't you think? Don't you think? You guys can't even see those seeds. Let me zoom in. So that's a bunch of seeds, little seeds, and I'm going to just fold this top. Make sure that I don't lose the rest of the seeds. So I'm gonna just fold it down a few times. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold that tissue over, and then I'm gonna go and put it into the Ziploc baggie. And that kind of creates its own little greenhouse. The water on this will really supply the seeds with just, you know, some water, direct water. Now that that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bag of cauliflower in there as well, so I remember that this is from the cauliflower package. What I ended up doing was ripping the part that said cauliflower off because of, I just didn't want these to get like kind of soaked through and overheated and you know, just start sprouting in there when I wasn't ready for them. So I ended up doing it like that. So this next step, I'm kind of just gonna be showing you guys right here, even though this isn't where it's gonna be staying. As if you can tell, this is my cutting board in my kitchen. And the next thing I'm gonna be doing is taking this heating pad. If you don't have a heating pad and you have a windowsill that gets enough light, then you can throw these in your windowsill. But if you don't, and you do have a heating pad, what you can do is take your heating pad. Bam, let me move those. You take your heating pad, right? This is the heating pad. You will turn it on, then you're gonna grab a blanket or a towel, and then you're gonna put it over so that way it's not so super, super directly onto it, you know? You don't want them like burning too bad. And then you're gonna wanna turn your heating pad on the lower setting, just enough to keep these nice and warm. And then what you're gonna do is just cover your seeds up with a towel. Might even throw it this way, so that way there's more layers against the heating pad. And then when you turn the heating pad on, you're just gonna keep it like that for a few days, and then what it's gonna do is kinda create a greenhouse effect in that Ziploc baggie, and those seeds will start to sprout. So I'll get back to you guys in a few days when these are sprouting. Bow, bow, bow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, you guys, so we are to my backyard. It's actually not my backyard, backyard. Let me show you the backyard. All right, you guys, so I have a pretty decent sized backyard and I thought it'd be so cute to have a garden bed back here. However, there is quite a few trees all around here and I did the whole sun test and even though there's sun right there right now, there's not enough sun there throughout the entire day. It needs at least six hours of sunlight for your vegetables to prosper unless you have like the vegetables such as like, say you're only growing potatoes or I believe it's beets that don't need a lot of sun, but I'm growing things that do need more sun. So even though I love my backyard and I would want to put my flower beds back here, not my flower beds, my vegetable beds back here, there just isn't enough sunlight. However, this little side of my house that has concrete actually does get enough light. And as you can see, my dog is enjoying it too. What I'm gonna be doing is putting the garden bed actually right here because this is the part that gets the most sun. So what I'm gonna do is clean all this up take those weeds out so that way they're just not right there and then I'm gonna be making that garden bed right here. Oh my gosh, look at that 
bug. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, let's look at it. Where are you, little guy? Oh my gosh, where the fuck did it go? <laughs> where did it go? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Scary, is that it right there? It's right there. Hello, hello. Now that I'm a little bit sweaty, cute, stinky, but now that this area is all picked up, look, you can tell where I've done a project before. But yes, all those weeds are nice and gone, thrown away, and now I have a clear spot to start building my garden beds, baby. So the next things you're gonna need is a drill, like so, some screws. So I'm using these screws right here, they're longer. And you're also gonna need a little drill bit, and this is basically gonna be making a hole through the wood that the screws can go through without splitting the wood. So this is very, very important. You're also gonna need either like a pin or a marker, or something like this, to just kind of give you a guideline. This is the long one that was uncut, and this is the short one that was cut. So what I am going to be doing, I'm sorry for the shadows making it a little complicated. Let me see if I can turn it. So I'm gonna just take the smaller wood, put it right there, take my marker, and just go boop, perfecto, perfecto. So that way I know where I can, should be drilling my holes. Put one right there, bam, put one right there. I want to emphasize the importance of this little drill bit, you guys. This wasn't expensive at all. You can find like a pack of them with different sizes at Home Depot for about like $8. Not expensive at all. Really great investment. You also want to get a little drill bit that is going to be smaller than the actual screws themselves. Bam, because you need to make sure that the screws still have something to hold on to through the hole. Yay, beautiful, beautiful. So how I'm gonna find the holes in here being the same distance as these holes, I'm gonna just be holding it up. I hope that made sense. Did that make sense? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> but I'm gonna hold this right in place. I'm gonna stand over it, use my feet to kind of hold the long board, take the short board, put it right in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through those drilled holes to drill a hole into the this board right here right along that edge just make sure it's right in place right where you need it and then go ahead and start drilling bam and now I have two holes in that board right there I changed out the head to the drill so that way I can actually drill in some screws and I'm gonna be setting this up this is the short board this is the long board and I'm gonna go ahead screw that together First, I just kind of made sure I went through the board, which it did. I'm gonna make sure it's lined up. Let's do the other one next, actually. You see that? It went through the board just a little bit. Flip it back over, put it right on those holes that I had drilled earlier. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and make sure I can drill those in. All right, so I screwed in all four sides and I put it right where I'm gonna want it, which is right there. I know the shade is covering it, but the sun does hit this spot six hours of the day at least, so I'm gonna keep it right there. And I bet my dog is a little sad because he kinda likes to lay right there. I'm sorry, dude. You're just gonna have to lay right here, okay? Okay? Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is take this cardboard right here. This was a cardboard from my daughter's car seat, and I saved it specifically for projects, so. Yeah, I'm one of those weird people. I'm gonna be taking this cardboard and laying it down on the inside of the garden bed. Right, and it looks like that. And honestly, because it's on the cement, I probably didn't even have to do that, but if you were doing a garden bed on the dirt, you don't want gophers and things to be coming up and eating your vegetables from the bottom. So doing something like cardboard boxes is very smart, so that way your vegetables don't get eaten, as well as it just upcycling things that we would usually throw away. Thank you, baby. So this is like a bucket that I used as a giant pot plant one time and it just has a bunch of old soil in it. So I'm gonna be putting that in first and using my shovel and just breaking it up. Now that this is 
pretty evened out. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing the this all in it until it's pretty much full. I just dumped six bags of fertilizer plus that fertilizer that was in that pot that you guys seen in the beginning into here and now what I'm gonna do is even this all out. Ooh, but it's starting to look good, baby, yes. Now that I am all nice and sweaty and that is all even, I am going to be doing the next step. So I'm taking this white box right here that I have and that same blue marker that I was using earlier. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be writing on here like tomatoes, lettuce, watermelon, blah, 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 all on there and then I'm gonna be cutting those pieces out. And just like that, they are all spam done. Look at the dirt on my hands, it's so funny. But all of these are done. These are gonna end up being the little signs so that way I know where is each plant so I know what is growing. And I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, Raina, it's cardboard. It's gonna be outside. They're gonna be ruined. I'm going to be fixing that problem right now. So all I did was take some clear tape and I just stuck it on that tape, got some scissors, cut out each section, and then the next thing I did was just flip it on over like so, and what that does is just protect the cardboard. And I made sure all the sides were pinched really well, and bam, my cute little cucumber sign. You know me, loving to repurpose things so that way I don't have to throw them away and it saves me money and it saves the earth. And so the next thing I'm gonna be using are these straws right here that are from Capri Suns. They are washed, but I have saved them. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking those cute little signs, turning them over and hot gluing them on the back like, pew, like that. Bam, and just like that, the little signs are done. See how there's glue right there on the back? Bam, real easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in dirt. of you I get really busy and I don't want to forget watering these plants so the best thing to do is come up with something that will water your plants for you when you are not around how I'm gonna be doing that is I'm taking this corona bottle right here I haven't painted it yet just because I kind of wanted to show you guys see how I filled it up with water what I'm gonna be doing is taking this and turning it upside down in the dirt let me show you I'm gonna turn it upside down I'm gonna shove it in there and I gotta kind of surround it you can use either a glass bottle or maybe even a plastic plastic bottle, whatever you prefer, whatever you have. And I don't know if you guys noticed that little air bubble that came up. Bam, there's another little air bubble, another little air bubble. That basically is showing you guys that there is air in the dirt and that the dirt needs moisture. And so what it's doing is it is putting air into the bottle and it is dropping the water into the soil. If the soil is watered enough, it will not do this. The water would stay in here. So it's only when the soil is dry that these little air bubbles come up. So cool, huh, you guys? So this will actually water your stuff for you when it's dry and you don't gotta really stress about it. And it's also a really neat way of recycling and repurposing your items at home. So now I'm gonna spray paint it because I don't want it to look like a beer bottle that's in my garden. And I'm gonna be taking this Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer 2 times ultra cover bonds to plastic oh it should be one that bonds to glass wood metal plastic and more so we're gonna go with the more <laughs> and pray it sticks that's this blue color i had it in my shelves and i like blue i think blue is pretty i'm gonna be keeping the bottle like this so that way the very bottom stays clear so that way i can tell when the water has ran out Ooh, so pretty so pretty so pretty so I was gonna have four and I was gonna put like one right here, one right here. Ch -ch -ch. I need to surround it actually with more dirt. Just a bit, make sure it doesn't like, you know, fall. Surround it, surround it. Ooh, ooh, surround it, surround it. Ooh, ooh. And look at, see how the tops are clear? That's so that way I can tell if there's like water in there or not. There's no water in it right now, but I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what it was supposed to look like. Bam, bam, all cute like that, except with that in the back, it looks so awful. But there's supposed to be one more right there and it looked real cute in that corner. And honestly, I really wanna paint these and I should have done that before I added everything in there. And ooh, oh well, huh? 
Oh, it's okay. I'm still gonna paint them though. We're gonna be like, boop, boop, hooking it up, hooking it up, and then I need to actually put that back in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take some tops out of this little vase that I have in my room, and I actually use these tops for different crafts, and so these are all the different tops I save. I'm gonna pick a few of them, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay them down right here. So these are all the different tops I'm gonna be reusing. Some of them are makeup tops. These are just for from juices. These are from the tops of Little Pacificos. We got some things from the baby's baby food, and little thing from a weed jar, the little thing from some olives, you know, some Powerade tops, all kinds of different tops. What I'm gonna be doing is spray painting these all white. And I'm gonna be using this paint and prime that molds to wood, metal, plastic, and more. So yes, so perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and just spray paint it, baby. And you wanna make sure you're gonna get the sides as well, so don't forget that. All right, you guys, it is the next day. These are dry, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that same little drill bit and drill holes in the tops of all of these little tops. All right, you guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do is paint this, and honestly, you guys, don't be a reina and do this after. Do this before, don't be like slow like me and think about it after like I was just like impatient to build it when I knew I wanted to paint it be smart paint it first if you want to paint it just using this craft paint right here and honestly uh, yeah don't do that don't be impulsive but we're doing it we're being impulsive <laughs> Slap that bad boy on there we're gonna just paint it blue love me a good blue oh my gosh yes and I'm only gonna be painting this the two sides that are facing out you know what I'm saying Good job. Good job. Keep going. Here. Can you mess? Right here. Look, mess. There you go. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yep. <laughs> you got it on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's not put it in the dirt, though, okay? Let's get closer. Yeah, yeah you tell them that you did such a good job. Yay, and now it just has to dry. Excuse all the paint that is on the floor right there because you know my little helper was helping me. But I am so digging all these blue vibes and just, oh, I don't know, I'm loving it. I love the different tones of blue. Blue is just so pretty. So with all those lids, I'm basically gonna be figuring out where I want them on here. So I'm kind of just gonna be holding them up like that one. I'll probably want about there, so I'm gonna leave that one there so I know it belongs. Probably want like a small one, but right here too. So I'm gonna want this one about right here. I'm gonna go through that hole I already drilled and then kind of drill a hole into the wood. At least start it off and then I can move that lid. So it started off, so now I'm gonna drill it all the way through. And this is just so that way I don't split the wood later when I end up putting screws in it. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this yellow paint right here and I'm gonna be painting petals all around the holes that I've drilled um, before I end up adding the little center pieces just because of I don't want those to get painted on on accident. Hopefully I don't make it look really stupid. I might. <laughs> being all impatient I'm gonna take my screw I'm gonna take my top and I'm gonna screw it on let's see maybe I should screw it through the top first let me screw it through the top first okay it's through let's do a little bit more there's that hole I drilled earlier feel about it. I know I'm gonna be painting this white so that way we won't see the screw all like that but I mean it, it, it's okay it's cutish. This one has to be a smaller flower. Gonna paint a smaller flower smaller flower boop -do -doop -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I turned down the brightness a little bit because it's so freaking bright outside that it was like making it just looks like way too much contrast almost. But yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like so far. You see how the screws are in there? I'm gonna be painting those white and the flowers are just gonna be kind of just like simple flowers, nothing real too realistic, you know? I'm gonna still kind of fix some of them, adding a few more probably petals to that one. But you guys, I am loving it. I feel like it just looks so cute. It's so cute and it's just like, uh, makes me want a garden. So that those flowers are painted. I know that they're not like the best and I'm still gonna kind of fix them. But I wanted to show you guys, see how the screw is showing? I'm gonna just take a little bit of white paint, just kind of, you know, go over it. So that way it blends in just a little bit more. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit more. Just dip my finger in the paint. And boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this juice bottle and this little box cutter. Ooh, my gosh, I almost cut my hand. Did you guys see that? I'm going to be, oh, am I gonna be using this box cutter? You guys, I don't know. I think I needed scissors. Scissors for show, maybe. Let's see, come on, box cutter. You got this, I believe in you. I think you're supposed to cut away from you. <laughs> So the top is kind of uh, scary and sharp, so I'm gonna take some sandpaper and I'm gonna just kind of sand it so it's not so dangerous. So I'm gonna just take that paper off, just kind of cut it, and bam. Ugh. Ugh. The struggle is real. Why? I got this candy pink gloss paint from Home Depot, and I did that today, and I didn't vlog it, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint this pink. I'm gonna make sure I do not get the inside, because that's where the plant's gonna be, and just in case, you know, I just don't wanna mess with the plant, so I'm only gonna make sure I get the outside of it. Also using Pedialyte bottles as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this drill again and with a little drill bit so I can drill a hole. And I'm actually gonna be going like at an angle because if I were to go straight right now, like boop, right here, I wouldn't be able to put it in straight with the screw because of, you know, this would be in the way. So I'm actually gonna be drilling an angle like that. Let's go ahead and drill that real quick. After I've drilled that hole at an angle, I'm gonna go ahead and take a screw and drill it on in to attach these to the boards. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! And basically why I'm putting these here is this is gonna be holding my herbs such as like parsley or oregano or cilantro, even though I don't like cilantro. But I'm gonna be putting my herbs in these little side containers and my vegetables actually in the garden bed itself. The next thing I just did was fill those up with the soil and bam, these oh are Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the cucumber. It is basically, I'm gonna just plant this one outside. Like, like this could just be planted outside. Let, let's go do it. Let's, I'm gonna try to hurry because it's starting to sprinkle, but you guys can see all the little roots like came up and went through, so I'm trying to open it up. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Open, 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 without ripping them. Ah, Ronnie. Still throwing the ball at me. Oh my gosh, how exciting. You know what's crazy? This even smells like cucumber already. Stick that in there. There is one, and I still need to water this soil because it's pretty dry. But boop, there's one. Yay, yay, cucumbers are on the way. Just like that, my garden bed is complete. All right, you guys, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know I still look pretty crazy, no makeup. <laughs> my hair is wild but you guys I am so happy with the way this garden bed ended up being I think it's super cute you know it looks DIY ish and I'm cool with that I feel like every time I look at it it puts a smile on my face when I come outside with all the little Dr. Seuss kind of flowers going on the yellow the blue and the pink and then just knowing I'm starting to grow vegetables <laughs> I'm 
so happy, so excited, and so relieved, honestly. This is something I've been wanting to do for so, so long, and there's no reason to be continuously putting it off now. So now is the time. No more thinking about it. No more just dreaming. We are putting things into action, putting things into motion. Okay, baby, you guys, just know that you don't need a yard to do garden beds either. You can be doing things inside. So if you guys do live in an apartment and you're like, man, I wanna grow my own things, there are vegetables that do well in little white, so definitely do your research look those up you guys can still make your own little tiny little pot plant thingies inside to grow your vegetables and just know I'm proud of you guys and I'm still talking and I'm so awkward <laughs> thank you guys so much and I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll catch you guys in the next video <laughs> bye la, la, la. what else am I picking up <laughs> uh, oh. oh dang it I put it on the floor again hey no digging. Where's my thingamajig? Ronnie moved that one. Let's put it back. It's gonna be, oh, the stick is, it got me, it got me. Ah! Come on, right now. Also motion, right? Uh, I do the, uh, la, 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 what are you saying? Uh, ah, that broke. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, don't touch it. What, baby? What? Do you have a piece of cheese? Ah. It's not going well. Why isn't it focusing? Oh, excuse me, my nose. My nose, itchy, itchy. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Oops, my camera died right when that happened. A little, I don't know. I don't know. Let me think. What, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Why does it look so weird now? Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, it's ripping. Be careful not to rip it. Oh, so weird. Oh, no. Gosh, so annoying.